For 90 years, Prairie Schooner, a literary journal published at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, has been featuring stories, poems, essays, and reviews by promising writers. The catalog includes famous contributors like Mari Sandos and Willa Cather, as well as remarkable authors who, for various reasons, became lost to modern readers. One of the exciting things about going into back issues of, of a journal like Prairie Schooner, and it's a really great resource because you're talking about almost 100 years of work that is immediately contemporary. The so-called lost writers from Prairie Schooner's archives include Nebraska native Irvin Krauss. He writes a lot about characters on the edge. They're people who are um, often living the lives similar to, to to the life he led as a boy. He was from a family of, of tenant farmers, basically. They moved from farm to farm throughout Nebraska and Iowa, and he was one of five brothers. And, and so he, they, uh, you know, they lived in some level of, of poverty. Krauss's writing is full of amoral characters and sinister plots. He was met with both praise and controversy. His short story, Anniversary, is about a guy named Donald who visits an old girlfriend, Wanda, a single mother living in Lincoln. It was deemed obscene by university officials who removed the entire piece from Prairie Schooner. Carl Shapiro, the editor, defended the story, saying that I believe his term for the, in, in the New York Times was something like a couple of washed out bedroom scenes or something like that. Shawfort believes the administration became nervous about the direction of editor Carl Shapiro, who was a fan of beat poets and wanted to seek out provocative writing in the 1960s. Former U.S. Poet Laureate Ted Kuzer says the reason he started graduate school in 1963 at UNL was because Shapiro was teaching at the university. The English department wasn't quite sure what to do with a real poet either. You know, they, they were all academics. He had an office kind of stuffed off into a corner of Andrews Hall, as if to keep him away from the students as much as possible. Shapiro stepped down as editor of Prairie Schooner over the censorship issue, and shortly after, Irvin Krauss was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease and died when he was just 39. I think that in the 1960s, before his death, he was really on the edge of success. I think that had he lived into the 1970s, he would have published more work, and I think it would have gained momentum. I mean, writers in their 30s, that's when they're really kind of starting to find their ground and to find their subject matter and to find their readers. And so he was focusing on his health when um, he might have otherwise been focusing on his career. To read more about Irvin Krauss and other lost writers, visit netnebraska.org slash lostwriters and get the free iBook.